Hello, and welcome to the channel. Today, I want to address the problems that came up in Flight Simulator 2020 with the update 1.9.3. As you may have noticed, some issues came up with this update. Many of them I have had by myself. Before the update, Flight Simulator 2020 worked like charm for me. Sure, there were some hiccups now and then, but it wasn't as bad as it has become now. The problems are, for example, crash to desktop, a full crash of the whole PC, constant shutdowns of avionics during the flight, and so on and so forth. I really lost my fun flying this sim. For me, it was nearly unplayable. I don't know how often I had to restart the Japan Life event. But all the time, the avionics shut down during the flight. Also, I had big problems with airliners. I couldn't even make a cold and dark start. Okay, long story short. After searching through the forums of FlightSimulator.com, I eventually found a post by a user called FS Terminal. I will leave a link in the description. I want to share this information with you because for me this was the ultimate solution to my problems. So all credit to him, or her. Now, I can't promise, this will work for you too since I have read some comments, where people say, that this didn't solve their problems. Also, keep in mind, that you have to make changes to the content of the game. So, please don't make me responsible, if you crash your installation. All changes you will have to do at your own risk. This out of the way, I want to show you, what you have to do. First, make sure, your sim is not running. Then you have to find the installation folder of the game. In my case, it is stored at user, username, app data, local, packages, Microsoft.FlightSimulator underscore 8 wiki 3 d 8 boy From here on, you will have to go to, local cache, packages, official, one store. In this folder, search for any folder that contains Asobo V cockpits. Now you will have to put an underscore at the end of every folder that contains Asobo V cockpits. Since I have already made this, you see them doubled here. The folders with the underscore, and the new generated ones. Now you want to start the simulator. After you start it, the installation manager will automatically restore the missing files again. If everything went right, your folder should look as mine. You should have the folders two times. One time with underscore and one time without. Now everything should be fine, and you should be ready to go. If anything goes wrong, just delete the underscore from the folders, and it should be fixed. I just can speak for myself. And in my case it did really work just fine. No more problems. Again, all the credit for this fix goes to FS Terminal at the Flight Emulator Forum. Big shout out, by the way. Remember, you do this at your own risk. Don't blame me, if anything goes wrong. I would be very happy, if this helped you. If you have any questions leave a comment. I will try to help, if I can. Also, please check out the forum at flightsimulator.com. There is a great community beginning to grow. So, please excuse me for now. I want to finally fly the Japan Life event. Finally. See ya. And have a nice flight.